Okay, so sorry I rushed the end of that last video, but what happened here is it'll come in and go, yup, first column, yup, first row, calculate the row probability, calculate the column probability, calculate the naive probability, then one for the first pixel. Then it comes around and does it all again, and it does it over and over again. Each time it adds one to all pixels, and when I run that, it returns all pixels is equal to as we saw, 5,152, which is the total pixels, that's correct. So it's counting, it's doing this process for every single pixel, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, yep, cool. So now, uh, this should be repopulating this every time it comes through. This naive probability has been re repopulated for the current row and the current column probability. Now all we need to do is save whichever probability occurs most frequently. And we'll take that as the most common color and stick it into a new image. And that will be our reconstructed image. So we need a matrix to contain that first. I'm going to call it uh, output image. And I want it to be the same size as the original image, obviously, because I'm reconstructing exactly the same image. So it needs to be a uint8 because the original image, new file, is a uint8 as well. And I want it to be exactly the same size. So u int 8. I can just type that in front and it'll MATLAB will automatically create it in the right format. And I want it to be all zeros to start off. And I want it to be rows long and calls deep. That'll create another copy that's exactly the same. And I need another bracket. Dash oh whoops. Okay, that will work. Let's run it and make sure. Cool, so, uh, what did I call it? Output image. There it is, yup, it's exactly the same size as the original image. Now, down here, we will take this new probability and find the largest one. So, if I print out naive prob, this is the probability for each color in the very last pixel because I've iterated through every pixel by this point. And it looks like it's most likely the fourth index, which is white. So we need to take that and put it back into the array as a number between 0 and 7, like the original one reads. So the fourth index is most common. However, I want to convert that back to a 3, because as we know, images are saved from 0 to 7, not 1 to 8. So I'll find the common in uh, highest common index, then minus 1. So there's a tricky way to do this. I'm going to say most common. I'm going to call it most common pixel. And I'm gonna f by using find, I can find something like the most common index or whatever. So it's gonna be in naive prob, naive prob, and I wanna find the max, the maximum value. And hang on, I'll explain this after I type it. Okay, so this is pretty confusing, but basically max. I should open up documentation and show you doc max. This is the best way to find stuff if you don't know. So, returns largest elements along the array. So, the largest element in this case is 0 0.2963. And, where's my code? Here we go. Um, yeah, this is kind of hard to explain. Doc find. We need to see what find does as well. Uh, yep, so, index find locates all non zero elements of array x. So I'm finding elements that aren't zero because obviously they're not going to be the largest. And I come in here and oh yeah just you have to play around with this to figure out how it works but this will find the maximum number and then what index it occurs it refers to. Then I want a minus one from it. So in this case the most common color is this one, the fourth one, which if we look at eight colors frequency uh, eight colors map is white, which makes sense because white is going to be the most common occurrence here because most of the column and most of the row is white. And it's the fourth index and I want to return it to being a 3, so instead of adding 1 like I did before, I need to minus 1. So this will return as some number. I'll just run it and see if it works. Uh, most common. So this will be for the very last pixel since I've, by this point I've already iterated through the entire image and it's a 3. So it was a 4, then I minus 1, now it's 3, because white is going to be correspond to 3 in the image array. 
Uh, yeah, sorry if that wasn't a very good explanation, but you have to just play around with this and figure out how it works. It's probably the best way to learn. Anyway, now I just want to save this into my new output image. So it's output image, and as I was up here, I was using R and C to iterate through every single pixel. So I'll just go R and C. That'll be the current pixel I'm on. It'll start off as 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, etc. until it gets to 161, 32. And I want that to be equal to most common. Alright, so now it'll go through every single pixel, find the probability in the row, the column, then it'll multiply it all together and save it into a new array called naive prob. Then I'll find the most common occurrence in naive probability and save it into my new image. Then it'll come back and do it all again for every single pixel. So if I say this pixel in the middle, it'll find the probability in this row and this column, multiply it so row, column, then it will multiply it all together for each pixel, uh, each color that could possibly occur, find the best one, and then save it into output image for the current pixel location. So, now what we need to do is write the image to a file. Im write. Uh, I'm going to write output image. Uh, I'm going to, the color map is the original one, 8 colors map, and we'll call it a uh, new image. Uh, base dot png. So the way you write is just image you want to write, color map you want to use, what you want to call it. So hopefully, if I didn't make any mistakes, this will work. Uh, hit F5, choose Funky Chicken, and no errors. I'll go see if it worked. Uh, assignment. I called it. What did I call it? My new image base. New image base. Here it is. Yes, this is what I got. And as you can see, it looks kind of nothing like Funky Chicken, but that should be pretty correct. It's Bayes classifier is not a very good classifier. But you can see that in this area, the chance of being yellow is overwhelmingly high, because this entire row is almost all yellow, and this entire column is mostly yellow as well. But for the majority of the image, it's going to be white. Up All of this is pretty much all white for both the column and the row. So that's why most of the image is white. Colors like blue and red in his hair doesn't occur very frequently at all. So that's why they never cut, turn up in the original image. You can see there's one black pixel here. I guess in this particular row and column, the probability of it being a dark color is higher because, as you can see, this row contains absolutely no white pixels. So it looks like every row contains at least one white pixel, except for this one, which is interesting, I guess. So that's why it didn't return as white there, but or yellow, but instead black. Um, yeah, so that's how you f reconstruct the image using the Bayes naive, by Bayes naive classifier. So it is naive and not very good, so your images will probably look kind of crappy, like this one. But that's alright, so if you didn't understand the process, just do it bit by bit and run it for each, every line you type, run it and see what's printing out. And just play around with stuff like this line and see what returns if you delete parts of it. And hopefully you can come to an understanding of how it works. And hopefully you learn something from these videos. Uh, yeah, that's it. So go redo this a million times yourself. Try and understand how it works. Try it for different images. See what comes out. See if the results of the new image correspond to the original one. And if it makes sense, you probably did it right. If it doesn't, then it's probably wrong. So here's one more interesting thing you can do. I'll run this for my rainbow image. And then I'll see what it put out. So, MATLAB, new base, it didn't do anything, that's pretty odd, um, I wonder why, oh, it saved it in a different location, so, what did I call it, base naive reconstruct or something like that, hang on, I don't know where I saved it, hang on a second, sorry, there it is, new image base, so this is outputted, pretty much exactly the original image, except for the chance of getting it black is so minimal it just didn't include at all. But for each row, I guess, the chances of being red is 100% up here because it's only red in this row, and only orange in this row. So this image doesn't really change, which makes sense because it's so simple and so plain. So play around with different images, see what you get, and yeah, hopefully that helped.